talks about the Prophet Yusuf السلام, or Joseph, peace and blessings be upon him. There is a surah, which is surah number 12, chapter number 12 in the Quran. It is named by the Prophet Joseph, peace be upon him. And this is how uh, honorable he was, that even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a whole surah about him. Not only that, the story of Yusuf السلام, Joseph, peace be upon him, his story is the only story in the Quran that it is complete from the beginning all the way till the end. Like, for example, if we look at the stories of Musa, السلام, Moses, peace be upon him, or, or Abraham, you will see different stories, like, you know, little bit of the stories, uh, you know, that they are all spread all over the Quran, you know, in different surahs, in different, different chapters. But Surat Yusuf, Joseph, peace be upon him, is the only surah that it, it comes like a whole chunk, like one from the beginning all the way till the end, you know, from the beginning when he was a child all the way until he became a king and then he died and so on so all his story all his biography is actually written as one piece in surah yusuf subhanallah and this is actually a, a, a wisdom from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it says that also that surah yusuf whoever reads it and he has some kind of depression who has some kind of stress that it relieves that stress because it relates to us in so many ways and each person reads surah surah yusuf in a different way subhanallah will have a different lesson you know and will relate to it in a in, in a way or another and what i'm going to be talking about actually it relates to our lesson today inshallah prophet muhammad peace and blessing peace be upon him he said that yusuf alayhi salam he is the son of the honorable the son of the honorable the son of the honorable that means he was very honored because he comes from a lineage of prophets joseph his father was jacob Jacob Yaqub and Jacob his father was Isaac and Isaac his father was Abraham so he comes like a fourth generation or the fourth uh, the fourth like you know offspring of you know from the generations the fourth generation after Abraham peace be upon him, as a prophet so he's a prophet you know the son of a prophet the son of a prophet a son of a prophet Subhanallah. And that's why he is so honorable. And that's why he is very special also in the Quran. His heart was attached to Jerusalem, that even when he died, before he died, he actually made a will. And he said, if I die and you go back to Jerusalem, he died in Egypt that you take my body to Jerusalem. And it says in the Bible, in the Old Testament, that his body actually was uh, was taken when Moses, peace be upon him, left with, his, with the people of Israel, the Israelites, all the way from, you know, from Egypt, and they went all the way to, uh, to Palestine, subhanAllah, they took his body. They took the body of Joseph, peace be upon him. And this is actually a story that it is mentioned in the Bible, but it is not mentioned in the hadith. Uh, not only that, his heart was attached to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was traumatized so many times. He was like, you know, he he met a lot of traumas in his life and he was traumatized, but he was never afflicted. Like, you know, he was never afflicted and he never failed in that. And that because he was he was connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fourth thing that he was very handsome. Even the Prophet, peace be upon him, when he went to the seventh heaven, he met uh, Pro Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam, Joseph, peace be upon him, you know, in the one of the uh, in the heavens, and he said that Allah subhanahu wa taala he made the beauty of this dunya of this world, and he gave half of that beauty to jo Joseph, peace be upon him. And here, like when we say beauty, we don't talk about the beauty of men, like, you know, looking like women or cute or handsome, like, you know, looking cute or anything like that. We're talking about, about you know, handsome as a manly handsome, you know, as he is a, an attractive man, not only with just like his body shape and his looking, but also as his personality as a man. Because usually men are more attracted to the personality than just the look of the man. It, it's opposite, you know, with the men they look at the woman more on the physical part but women they look at the men in, in an emotional and psychological part he was also a dreams interpreter allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him this gift subhanallah to uh, interpret dreams and uh, he was oppressed by his brothers and so many ways so many times we think that the enemy would be outside our walls but subhanallah sometimes the enemies would be inside 
you know, inside, very close to us. And they are the most people that hurt us. Although like his brothers, they were Muslims because they come also from the same lineage as Yusuf. You know, they are his brothers. They come from the same father and mother. But subhanAllah, not, not necessarily the same mother, but subhanAllah from the same father. And they have the same lineage. But subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it this way.